button means we're live. A casual take with your boy, Steven Pepper, here to get a take off my chest. Got a little instant reaction for you guys. I love instant reactions. Um, I did one before. The last time I, when I did was Bucks Pacers right before I went to formal. That was like a while ago now. I mean, it was only like two, three weeks ago. A lot of my favorite basketball people on YouTube do instant reactions after games. I want to start doing more of these because I want to first start by saying before I talk about this crazy Celtics Pacers game, I want to apologize for not being here on Monday. There was two game sevens on Sunday, and it kills me that I wasn't here. And I literally promised there was Pacers, Knicks, and then Bucks, Timberwolves. I promised on my game six reaction to Bucks, I mean, to Timberwolves, Nuggets, that I was going to be here for game seven reaction. And then I woke up Monday morning sick. I was pissed. I had notes for both games. I had two fire takes, two fire takes to drop for you guys. You guys would have loved the episode. I woke up sick. Literally that entire night, I didn't get a single ounce of sleep because I was coughing my ass off. And then every when I woke up in the morning, my voice sounded terrible, stuffed up nose. And every time I opened my mouth, I was coughed. I'm fine now. I want to do an instant reaction because, one, I want to start doing more of these. And then, two, um, not for a long intro, but, two, so I don't you know wake up sick again and miss out on an episode because I really want to talk about this game. Um I- What a choke job by the Pacers, and it's so ironic, too, because this is the uh, famous Reggie Miller choke um, emo. I mean, that's an all-time, all-time choke job, but I want to talk about the Celtics. Like, I couldn't care less that they won. The the Pacers gifted them. The Pacers gifted it to them in wrapping paper. The Celtics are just such an unserious team. You can, and you know, you can default to the, Porzingis injury all you want. A 10-point favorite at home without him. 10-point. Default to that injury. Like, excuse me. This team just takes their foot off the gas far too many times to be taken serious. Like, you would think that they're playing pickup. Like, do they think they're playing pickup to 11? Like, uh, hello, you're in the Eastern Conference Finals. There's just too many times where the Celtics had the Pacers out cold and they let them get up. They instantly started the game up 12 to nothing within three minutes. And everybody on sports Twitter simultaneously put out a tweet um, that the series is over. And they let the Pacers back into the game. Tied at halftime, Pacers taking their lead in third quarter. And then what happens? The Celtics come out focused. And then they go up 13 points. Missoula starts tweaking with the lineup. Tatum gets out, foot off the gas, and then the Pacers take the lead. Happened far too many times to be taken serious. Far too many. And, you know, they're going to learn from that effort. They're going to learn that effort ain't going to fly out west. The Timberwolves and the, the uh, sorry, the Timberwolves and the Mavs, the two teams in the Western Conference Finals, both of them, I got them beating Boston right now. They're better defensive teams than the Pacers. Pacers just have an atrocious defense. Mavs, Timberwolves, too big, too strong, better stars. They're just not going to let Tatum, Brown, and uh, Drew Holiday even all come all get 25-plus. It's just not going to happen, and they're more tested. They're more serious. Listen, I get that Porzingis is hurt, and Porzingis changes the dynamic of this team. Better, sh- better shooting, um, no cornet minutes reliable 20 point per game score when you need him to, but most importantly, rim protection and they need him to win the title. Um, and Indiana, you could tell the reason why they were in this game, other than the Celtics taking their foot off the gas is they hunted the Luke Cornette, Al Horford's and pick and rolls, the Halliburton pick and roll with Turner or Siakam just killed the Celtics tonight. They just killed them. They played too much drop coverage, but Horford and Cornette, they couldn't guard the roller and Siakam or Turner because the lane would be wide open for a dunker. Siakam was living in the paint. Or then whoever was the pick-and-roll ball handler, either McConnell or Halliburton, since they were playing drop coverage, it was just a wide open over those. Luka and, Luka and Gafford, that two-man game. Um, Carl Anthony Towns, Anthony Edwards, that two-man game, that's going to hurt the Celtics. But regardless... We're talking about the Pacers, not out West. And without Chris Demps-Persingas, they were still a 10-point favorite. Vegas knows. 
I know it. They know it. The smart odds makers knows that talent gap between the Celtics and Pacers without Przingis even is Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon at home. 10-point game, 10-point spread is a spread you'd see Hornets Celtics Tuesday night in Boston in January. Not in the Eastern Conference Finals against a team that won two series. Now, of course, you want to come up here. Uh, there's probably a Boston guy listening. Like, oh, give give, give credit to the Celtics uh, for pulling out that win. No! Absolutely, I'm not giving the Celtics credit for pulling off the game. Why? Because the Pacers absolutely handed that game to them in wrapping paper. Quite literally. They had multiple turnovers down the stretch. All Indiana had to do, up three, was inbound the ball one time cleanly. Inbound the ball, mm, whistle, free throws, game over. But they couldn't. They kept turning the ball over. And the Celtics, four shots, four shots of sending that game to overtime. And eventually, they hit it. And then overtime, they had the lead. And then they turned the ball over and the Celtics won the game. That's, that's, that's literally the game the Pacers just won't recover from. The Pacers are not going to recover from this game. Boston could have recovered from losing that game in regulation or overtime. But the Pacers kind of reminds me of game one, Cavs 2018 finals. Whenever you're such a heavy underdog and you have such a demoralizing loss, you're just not, you're just not going to recover from this. You're just not. They, they shot the best game they could. LeBron in 2018 had 49 in regulation. You're just not going to recover from a game like this. Now, fortunately for Boston, they get a win in the column. At the end of the day, if they still win this series, which I, they will, at the end of the day, a win is a win in the column. You don't see the scoreboard on a 4 nothing, 4-1, 4-2 series difference. This is going to be a wake-up call for them because they need to get focused. Yes, Chris Absarazingas is injured, and he does change the dynamic of this team, and he makes them a better chance of winning against Indiana, who is hunting those matchups without Chris Stapps on the floor. But you were still a 10-point favorite at home in the Eastern Conference Finals. That's a pretty big spread. You're just so much better than Indiana. You can't take your foot off the gas. You had Indiana dead to rights multiple times in this game. To start both halves, and you finished poorly, and you should have lost. I think game two, they absolutely need to get focused. But to me, unless Chris Stapps comes back, not even. Even if Chris Stapps comes back, this team is just so unserious, so unfocused. Kind of don't like Joe Mazzula's rotations. Taking their foot off the gas way too many times. That is just not going to fly against the Western Conference teams. That... They just do it so many times. How can I take the how can I take the Celtics seriously to win the NBA title? They're going to go to the NBA Finals because the East has just been so Mickey this year. But against the Mavs, Timberwolves, this effort needs to be fixed in Game Two. And if they come out in Game Two with his foot off the gas stuff again, it's going to be a problem. They're probably not going to win the NBA title. But I appreciate everyone for coming in. Instant reaction: Celtics, um, Pacers, Game One. Hopefully I'll be back for game two and I'm not sick, but until then, 